What are the top real estate lead generation strategies that are working right now? Well, today we get to explore that. And rather than speak from theory, I wanted to pull some real life examples of real estate agents that are actually crushing it in these particular real estate lead generation strategies. So each of these strategies has at least, and I mean at bare minimum, three agents that are closing at least five transactions every single month from the particular strategy that we highlight. Now these are agents that I'm personally working with so I can vouch for the production that they're producing. So let's get to it. The first lead generation strategy that we all as real estate agents need to focus on is social media. Now, of course, we have to start with social media because number one, it works. But number two, there's never been a better time to get this amount of exposure so quickly and for free. And the reason I say this is because reels are crushing it right now. Short form content has the ability of making your entire real estate career with one video. With one video, your entire life can absolutely change. However, we're not banking on that one video to make our entire real estate career. What we're doing is we're leveraging that short form content, aka reels, TikTok, shorts, in order to aggregate our exposure to the marketplace. Meaning more and more people get to see us because the platforms push this short form content so more and more people know that we're in real estate. In fact, one of our agents, Alejandra, is closing 95% of her business from Instagram alone. And not only is she closing a massive amount of real estate, but she's also getting additional business opportunities. And one of those opportunities was getting her very own TV show. And that was all because of social media. But now let's take social media to another level. Let's talk about ChatGPT. Now I understand that ChatGPT is not a social media platform. The reason that I'm including it in the social media strategy is because you as a real estate agent have a huge opportunity to create content at scale, leveraging artificial intelligence such as ChatGPT or BARD. Take another one of our agents, Kim. She's absolutely crushing it with ChatGPT because although traditionally she's been a cold caller and that's where her business was coming from, her migration into social media leveraging ChatGPT has grown her exposure and at the same time has increased the amount of listings that come to her now. And that's because she's putting out social media content every single day. But before she goes to her social media platforms, she makes the pit stop on ChatGPT where she enters a few prompts here and there and then gets the content to go and post over on Facebook, Instagram, and everything in between. So now for an agent like Kim, it's not uncommon to have five to eight listings at any one time. The second real estate lead generation strategy that is working right now is paid advertising. Now, of course, I have to include this particular strategy in this particular video because it is absolutely a game changer for those that know how to follow up and close paid advertising. In fact, this is how I've been able to build all of my businesses so far. This is how I built the network of compounding pharmacy, the business brokers that I started, my boba tea stores, the property management company, and the residential real estate business altogether. So yes, I have had my fair share of Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Google ads, and YouTube ads go incredibly well. But I've also had situations where I've lost thousands and thousands of dollars on campaigns that went nowhere. But what I can guarantee you is that paid advertising is still alive and well. Take this campaign that we launched several days ago. Now take Tony from Florida as an example. He's been selling multi-million dollar homes from Facebook ads alone. When he needs business, he submits a request to our internal hub. Our digital agency will get the ad up and running and then he has a ton of people to follow up with. But the important thing here when it comes to paid advertising is the follow-up because regardless if you're doing Google ads, YouTube ads, Instagram ads, Facebook ads, whichever paid advertising strategy you're using, you have to follow up because you get introduced into somebody's life like that. So you have to follow up as soon as that lead comes in and establish rapport. In other words, this is significantly different than working your sphere of influence. Now here's the rule of thumb I give real estate agents. When you explore paid advertising, don't explore it for one month, commit to three months of paid ads. So if you're doing Facebook ads, commit to spending $300 a month for three months consecutively. If you're doing Google ads, give yourself a little bit more budget. There go $500 a month for three months consecutively. This is going to give you the budget to split test and see leads come through the door so you can start following up. And if you do it right, of course, start closing deals. Now, speaking of closing deals, something that has to be on everybody's radar in everybody's blueprint is YouTube marketing. 
you already knew that I had to bring up YouTube because we've been so bullish on it and have been executing on it since 2018. And the beauty of YouTube is that you don't have to have started back then. The beauty is that you can start on YouTube right now. Take Zach as an example in the Dallas Fort Worth market. I spoke to him earlier this week and his summer season was an absolute game changer. He closed 20 transactions from YouTube alone and he has four more transactions in pending status right now. That's right. This is all doing YouTube without doing any paid ads. Now that is pretty cool in and of itself, but what's even better is the fact that he started his YouTube channel just last year. So in a matter of months, he's been able to scale his YouTube lead generation to have his most successful summer yet. And it's still quite simple to get started. Don't overcomplicate it. Start with these three videos. The everything you need to know about your city and state. Pros and cons of living in your city and state the cost of living in your city and state. Now, if you too want to transform your YouTube channel, just like Zach has done, check out the link in the description. We have agents every single day pausing all forms of paid advertising, whether that's Zillow, Realtor.com, or any lead generation services, and only going in on YouTube alone. So make sure you check out the link in the description if you want to work with someone that has personally done it himself and also has helped other real estate agents do the same thing. The next lead generation strategy that's absolutely crushing it right now, you already know, is your sphere of influence. We've been taught to work our sphere of influence from day one or correcting myself. We've been told to do our sphere of influence since day one, but we really haven't been taught that well. Now to work your sphere of influence, it's quite simple. I'm gonna link a video right here that breaks down all of our follow-up strategies, but for now, I wanna share with you the five steps that you need to take to really break into your SOI the right way. First, of course, identify your SOI. Next, we're reaching out to that sphere. Now, after that initial outreach, you have to continue following up. Next, you're gonna service the low-hanging fruit, those that are ready to go. Now, here's something that we often miss, asking for referrals. Don't forget to do that, especially with your SOI. And of course, you already know we have to follow up. Working your sphere of influence is not a one-time event. Your sphere of influence will always continue being the bedrock of your business. It doesn't matter if you're selling five transactions a year or 500 transactions a year. Your SOI matters. Take Jared out in North Carolina. He services his SOI in such a unique way, mostly because out of necessity, given that he has hundreds of people in his sphere of influence, which is abnormal. I will admit you typically aren't going to have hundreds of people in your sphere of influence. However, he still maintains a healthy and strong relationship with his SOI. And the way that he's able to do that is through leverage, because at any point in time, three to five people from his sphere of influence can reach out to him asking for some real estate advice. So what he did in order to service that SOI the right way and buy his sanity bag, he created a buyer funnel and a seller funnel, which he uses every single day to better educate the people that reach out to him and also qualify the people that reach out to him. So it doesn't matter if people are reaching out because they want to pick his brain, they want additional information about what the rates are doing, want some advice on what to do if they should refinance or not. It doesn't matter the question, he's able to send them to that particular funnel that he has built for them and they get the right type of service, the right type of answers without him personally addressing them. So by the time his sphere of influence goes through those funnels and reach out to him in a serious way, he knows that they're serious to do something. Now, this next strategy is one that has worked since the beginning of time and will continue working forever and for always, and that's open houses. Hosting open houses continues to be one of the quickest ways to generate real estate business quickly. And coincidentally, it happens to have one of the highest converting rates across all real estate lead generation strategies. And it makes sense, right? You have people literally coming to you and showing some level of interest in what you happen to do, which is real estate. Now take Michelle in Texas as an example. She's done $10 million in sales in the last four months, partly because of open houses. She's built her open houses in such a way that every single weekend, she knows that she's gonna be walking away with active clients. So not only is she providing a five-star experience for the listings that she's hosting the open houses with, and she's also walking away with clients that in many cases have to sell their house as well. So she's created such momentum with everything that she's doing in the weekends goes and feeds back into her business. Now I do have the exact blueprint on how to host your open house the right way. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and comment open house down below. Now, if you want to see the video that's going to help you grow your real estate business, check this video out right here.